going into game number two, BN versus TK Sky. Each team is 1-0. And let's see who's moving on to the next round between these two teams. Going to be a good game. Ooh, some ships we haven't seen before now. This is exciting. So, looking at the side of BN, we've got four DDs. Ragnar, Daring, Ragnar, and then a Marceau, which we haven't seen yet. Napoli, Napoli, Moskva, Kremlin, and Kremlin for BN. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, BN was a ranked team. That's why we haven't seen him yet. For the side of TK Sky, we've got Z52, Daring, Gearing, Napoli, Venezia, Nevsky, Moskva, Yamato, and Ohio. This is going to be an interesting one. So, remember, this is for all the marbles. A winner takes all. Let's see who's going to do. So, gearing with the immediate speed boost, I'm intrigued to see which route they have the gearing take. Is Skills to Win going to be cutting on the outside, or is he going to be going interior? And it looks like, just based on the line, he's going to be going exterior. Otherwise, he's way offline. Daring going into the mid, and then Z52 heading to C to sit there and protect it. Nevsky and Moskva over to C as well, along with Venezia. Ohio, Napoli heading to A. On the side of the Buenos Noches team, we've got the Daring heading up the middle, Marceau, Moscow, and Kremlin speed boosting around to the edge. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, the Marceau will win this. Uh, one, he's got the longer speed boost. Look at the difference in speed boost time. Two, he's just faster. We've also got over to C, we've got a hard push. Double Ragnar, Napoli, Napoli over here. So you got Smoke and you've got uh, High and DDs to smash. We'll see who gets it. Gonna sit here and see the game as it goes for a second and just watch and lurk and analyze as we go on. Okay, so given a little time for the plot to develop here, now let's start talking and watching. So we were just watching. I wanted to see where everyone goes before I talk. Looks like I'm really intrigued by this. You got the Ragnar Wolf Pack along with the Napoli Napoli heading out wide. That Z52, if he gets run into, is going to be in a world of hurt with all of that secondaries and just Ragnar main guns. Kremlin taking shots out. He's seen the Nevsky. Looks like the shells are going to miss. They are indeed just about one hit. But... Over here, we got the Darings countering each other in B. Now, I'm intrigued. Marceau did not actually dive A like I thought. He is gone, and he has dived the island. So he's on the island. Is he going to go wide here? Problem with going wide is the fact that, and he's going to bump the island at least briefly. Don't know if that was intentional or not yet. Uh, the fact of the matter is he can't go around that and start fighting because the Napoli will get some good work on him. Shell's going back out to that Nevsky again. Kremlin's sitting there looking at him. No damage that time. Kremlin has shells coming out from the Ohio. That angle doesn't look great, and it's only a little bit of chip damage. But as we said, oh, and that is what we, I was worried about for the side of TK Sky. Z52 has been spotted and everybody says hello. And no heal. He is already down to 2,000. I don't think he's getting out of this alive. And that's exactly what you want if you're to the side of BN is to get that early kill onto the Z52. That is a disgusting wolf pack. Now, Ragnar of Jamie Mendoza does take a Torp, so a little bit of damage put back onto him. He's using the heal already, so he'll be just over two-thirds health when it finishes. Maybe a little higher. Depends on what chip damage he takes here. That'll put him... Yeah. But that's still not where you want to be. Losing that Z52 on the flank gives free reign to take C if they want for the side of BN. And that four ships out there on the flank is going to be able to do a pretty decent push. Now, over here, Moskva locked in tight on the island, Soviet Elmo. They're looking at him. They want to smack him. Nothing yet to do, though, ladies and gentlemen. They're going in. They're looking at the gearing uh, of skills to win, but he doesn't have him spawned, so he can't do anything. Now, this is an interesting play. They have decided for the side of TK they are going to give up B and move to try to counter C. 
Daring's not going to win that fight if he's by himself, but it is intriguing to see what's going to happen here and who's going to get it going as we push on. Napoli taking some big damage. I mean, when you've got a Venezia out wide along with the Moskva, the Nevsky, and the Yamato, that Napoli's always going to be hurting. And the radar there, that's going to keep that Napoli spotted. Does the Yamato get the shots off in the next... Uh, while the radar is up and with that radar still being at 25 seconds yes he does shells are out how much damage does the Yamato do because this Napoli needs to be very careful especially with those torps uh the torps ran out of range so he takes one shell just a little bit of damage the HE coming in here's the back guns the Yamato does it do any more damage no it does not shots have been switched to the Ragnar by the Nevsky Moskva still trying to chunk that Napoli he's gotten some good damage on him and then the Daring is farming down the Ragnar just a bit he gets what he can, and then he stops, and now they've got the spam fire going in at the Napoli. Napoli doesn't have a DCP, so if he gets hit by a fire, he's going to burn for a while, and he's already down to 17,000 health. Here come the shots from the Yamato. Ooh, he's lucky that it's not any more damage than that. Back gun from the Yamato out over towards that Ragnar or other Napoli. Looks like the Ragnar will see if they hit. Shells are going. Shells look just a hair behind. And then the Napoli takes a bit of damage. So, despite BN getting the kill, they are down 20,000 health. They're up about 160 points. And now let's look at here at A. So, the Napoli of Obscure Obtentions is going for the cap. Problem is, he's got to stop because the Marceau's put some brilliant torps out there. And now he's just getting mashed by Kremlin and Daring. And uh-oh, he's pushing forward. Is he going to dodge those torps? Looks like he gets the torp dodge timer. He's going to try to dive in, but this broadside, is the Kremlin ready to make him pay? That is the question right now, chat. Kremlin hasn't shot yet, so it looks like he's going to get in and get turned. How much damage does the Kremlin do as he gets into that cap? A lot of damage taken to get in there, but now that you're in there, can they deal with that daring that's just going to keep smacking him? Shots from the Kremlin are out now, down to 20,000. Ooh, I don't think he's getting out of this one alive, chat. Marceau is going to spam him, daring is spamming him. He's still spotted. That Marceau's going to keep him spotted. He's trying to uh, spam fire the Daring. The Daring is leaving the cap. That'll be the only chance he has. Heal has gone down. DCP's not up for another 30 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure this Napoli is getting ticked out by fire. He's going to get some secondary shots back onto the Marceau, but it doesn't matter. Shells are in, and he is going to burn out, and that is a two-ship lead for the side of BN and a 330-point lead right now. Now, looking back over here, those shells are still doing some work. Uh, the side of TK Sky has done some really good work on averting that push that was coming on the side of C at the cost of not too much health. But the problem is you're down two caps to none. You're not ticking anything. So this becomes a problem. How do you play this? Ohio and Gearing now pushing up on to this island. Their goal, got to smash the Marceau, get them off the field if they want a chance to win. We'll see how it looks. But right now, all signs point to this match going in favor of BN. Couple torps out here onto the Napoli, not going to have the range. Ragnar down to 8,000 health, 500 or 5,000 make that. He's been getting hit pretty well. Venezia shells are in. Do they hit? Venezia shells just missed 4,000 and change. Does he have any heals? 3,600. He has no heals left. And his DCP is ready, but he hasn't DCP. Or no, his DCP is not ready. Pardon me. That's the Napoli. Is he going to burn out to this fire? Oh, this is going to be huge if he burns out to the fire for the side of TK Sky. He's got one fire left on him, two more ticks, and he does burn out. And so TK Sky gets the Ragnar out. That's a big kill. Now the Ohio of Redback is getting focused, though. He's looking to try to take out that Moskva. And the Gearing and Marceau are fighting. Marceau down about half health. Gearing still almost full health, but now Gearing's starting to take the shots. Moskva sitting at 20k. He has a heal in 35 seconds. Shots from across the map from the Yamato. Unfortunately, they only do about 4,000 damage. So Moskva is broken detection, and that Ohio is down to 40k. Ohio's using the heal, but he doesn't have too much time left on that heal. Three caps to none. 380 point lead for the side of BN. Daring is moving in to try to deny B, but he's got to be careful. Yamato's coming in as well. Yamato's got the shells out. Shells are going across the map. They're going to go in on that Kremlin. How do they look? Let's watch them as they fly in here. Looks decent on the edge. Do they have the right range though? We'll see here in a second. They do, but it's only about 4,000 damage. And now the daring battle's going on. 
Problem is, this Daring doesn't have smoke for another two seconds, so he's gonna take some damage before he can get a smoke up. He gets the smoke up, but the other, the Daring of TK Sky has brought that fight back to about a 3,000 health difference. And so that smoke's going now. But B is capped, so that will slow the points bleed. Still, though, almost 380 points now. 360, 380 points now. Four minutes until BN wins. TK Sky needs another kill, and they need it badly. They're looking at that Moskva. Unfortunately, that Moskva has reversed and locked himself in on the island, so the Yamato will not be able to get the shots over. Ohio looking to try to take the broadside onto him and just smack him. Secondaries are out. No damage yet. He does not have a repair or a heal ready for the Ohio, but he will have them soon, and he'll still be in fine shape. Moskva has two heals left, but it's 40 seconds until one's ready. And there's the shells out. That is a really nice tight grouping. Are they going to hit? First set is long. Second set is also long. Must have lost sight as he shot. Ooh, Kremlin of BN is now in a spot where the Nevsky is going to be able to focus him down. Venezia of Feather Duster also coming in. This Kremlin's trying to get in and put a very painful position on the Yamato, but he hasn't gotten through that gap yet, and he is taking a good chunk of damage from the Nevskis as he goes. We'll see how much more they get on him as he goes. Kremlin is using a heal. He's got four DCPs left. We'll see what happens. B has been taken, by the way, and the Daring's now an A, so that's going to hold it. Ooh, Venezia gets slapped. So we continue on here. Daring is smacking the Yamato. Yamato of Adama's Wrath is close to going down. They get the Venezia, though. The Napoli gets the Venezia. Three ships to one. And the points lead now up to 600. TK Sky desperately needs a kill soon. And they get one. The Yamato deletes the Napoli from across part of the map and with that kill that'll give them a little bit of time yamato has 27 seconds till heal he needs to hope he stays alive but shots like that are going to delete him and that is a dead yamato ladies and gentlemen he does get off one more salvo before he goes let's follow the salvo and see if he gets any good damage on this napoli as this napoli tries to turn in looks like the shells are going to end up being behind because of the where the napoli turn so he doesn't four ships to two lead for the side of bn and they still win even with being down a cap now the kremlin's gonna push in daring's gonna have to try to kill him if they want a chance as the daring of the chris also pushes in ohio's still alive doing well getting those secondaries out onto the kremlin and the marceau so as i look at this game and i analyze into it bn's win condition is pretty clear they're gonna push the daring and kremlin into b they're gonna take the cap put the pressure on for the side of TK Sky, they need to find a kill. The Moskva is just going to get farmed down for a while, and he's getting some good damage onto that Ragnar. But they're going to try to farm him down. They've got to get that Nevsky of Polar Bear Fax up as well, and forwards they can push in and try to stop the caps and stop the bleeding just for a little bit. We watch in. We see what's going on. Daring of TK Sky is now engaging the Kremlin. And look at that Conga line. That Conga line, unfortunately, is going to miss because the Kremlin moved. And now the Daring has to go out. And the Ohio does not have any heals left. And he's about to be burned out. Chat, his heal is off. His DCP is on cooldown. Shots are going to kill him soon. He gets one salvo out. Is he going to get another salvo out before he goes down? I don't think so. There's the fire. There's the death. Five ships to two lead. And this game is almost yeah, over, chat. <laughs> Kremlin snaking shells out on the Daring just misses. Moskva and Nevsky trying to get the Napoli of Jeseneth down. But right now, he is still alive. He has a DCP ready, so even if they get the fire, he's going to be able to heal. But they are chunking him down fairly quick. There's the smoke. There's the last heal. Radar, unfortunately, is not going to quite catch him. Nevsky's going to push forward and try to get him. But right now, the Napoli is sitting. Oh, and there's the kill, ladies and gentlemen, as we were zooming in. So your winner, as we thought was going to be the case near the end there, BN takes it 2-1 to one over the side of TK Sky.